It's been uh, 70 degrees like every day this month. It's been 100 degrees here, so that was... Uh... And that's just a great way to open an exciting stream. <clears throat> uh, I think Maybe. that we could all agree. So we're live. Let's see if anyone's going to be joining us. Probably not Murph. He has forsaken us. Wow. Wow. Well, I don't know if he has. Just, I just wanted to say forsaken. It's a good, it's a good thing to say. It is. Middle Easy just tweeted about us. We're all tweeting right now. Wow, Detector Sarcasm is here. That's exciting. The audio levels seem fine. Oh, it's good. Well, it's on the PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, people can let us know if we end up sounding weird. I mean, we could just. Uh, oh wow. Well, we appreciate you stopping by. We could just watch the uh, the walkouts too to get a little warm up. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I mean, so here we go. This is exciting. We haven't kickboxed yeah. in a while. You know, what, what? What is even going on here? You know, so it's, a, it's a momentous occasion, you know? I mean, this is the final Saturday, maybe, unless we decide to come back. Look at these guys. Who yeah, would you know, think that, is, like, it's so different now? Yeah. <clears throat> Gordon Garibaldi and October Schmidt. Uh, Gordon Garibaldi has found his niche as a guy who does submissions and hardcore matches. And uh, October is just, uh, you know, he's just there. He's, he's got a, he's he's got a, a hardcore turd. friend, his, his brother. His dear sweet brother. <laughs> If we ever have a brothers tournament, I'm sure I'm sure the Schmitz will show up. Yeah, and to the best of my knowledge, there's no such thing as Brothers Day, but with all these men's rights activist kind of things, who yeah. knows? Jeez. Oh. I mean, October Schmidt now, Terry. Hello. Um, with all of these. The, the wrestling like this is October Schmidt he's normally like a tag contender it's it's so all of this is so weird to yeah. see now I don't know Gordon Garibaldi is like a hardcore maniac I mean what? these guys could meet in a hardcore tag match with their with their respective partners you know October Schmidt and, and Han Schmidt and uh, Garibaldi's had a, a bit of success with uh, Front Reed so they could end up being uh, you know Outstanding, I mean, uh, I mean, this is a strip mall casino magnet against oh. a press, like a track coach. Yeah, absolutely. That's why October Schmidt's in such good shape. But keep in mind, he's like the track coach of like very small children, children who should not be yeah. in, in the like, stands the right now. Like a, mile, oh. like a mile run is a big deal. Like, remember oh, when yeah. we were in, like, I think it was in seventh grade where like you had to do the mile run. It was like, what? I have to the, run a mile? The mile is huge. Like, especially just got to train for the mile. Got to make my mile time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and drop in the, uh, the the post recording this event in the the chat room. So oh, yeah. So people, can have that. people can look at the card. This is one of the few times uh, that kickboxing has followed a set card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or it's not just, just go out there. These, Usually these, everyone's, these like, backstage had, just ready. Yeah. These men have had really upwards anxious. of a day to prepare, yeah. At least think, a day to prepare. Yeah, I, I think what would sometimes happen, oh. I, I can't be 100% certain, but I think sometimes what would happen is everyone would be waiting backstage with their gloves, and then uh, someone would just hit shuffle on a playlist and whoever's <laughs> entrance music came up, that person would have to walk. And, you know, sometimes uh, that, that Blur song would come up and Michael Bisping would, would show up randomly. Two or three times that happened, yeah. <laughs> Michael yeah. Bisping's here now. Well, Bike did do his social media for like a month or two. Yeah. He owed him somehow. Gordon Garibaldi cut, he's got all that scar tissue from the barbed wire matches he's been in lately. Yeah, yeah I like that October Schmidt is getting the bat, like the heel end of a head kick a lot. Tober Schmidt doesn't usually kick so much. 
Oh my god, no. He's, this is really just October is... Oh. He's trying to... Mixes martial arts is, I think, a Supreme would say. Yeah, cheesesteak would be all about saying that you got to mix your martial arts, bro. God, Garibaldi is really cut open now. I mean, he's constantly blading. Even though he doesn't need to, this man makes eighty, ninety thousand dollars a year in a strip mall casino. He doesn't need yeah, this. He... He's one of the most successful men in all of us, CFL. Is October Schmidt is a guy who does not throw punches with the intent to hurt. He just throws <laughs> them with like the intent to like annoy. God, it's, October Schmidt's cut open now too. I think it's part of his gym teacher mentality if he just wants to, I mean, he wants the kids to stay active, so he's going to throw punches to stay active. Just, uh, just burn oh, some calories, guys. Yeah, he's in great shape. This guy can run four or five miles easily. Um, and then, and then just stop. Jessica, what are you sipping on tonight? Uh, I a small amount of, uh, Coca-Cola product and a small amount of uh, whiskey product oh, uh, man. mixed together. Oh, it's, wow. a, it's a combination I, I just heard about <laughs> a few days ago. Mm. That sounds delightful. It's called whiskey and product. Yeah. Whiskey and product. Person. I should I should have said just a a cola beverage. Which is a, you know, more more of a brand neutral term because we can't afford to to name drop some of these brands. Are, are well, either RC, of you enjoying a? Is that they're not paying us, you know. This is right. Fucking, yeah. Gonna drink some you know, some Pepsi because Coke ain't paying me nothing. <laughs> you gotta think like Brock. You gotta think like Brock nowadays. You know, this gonna is drink not... some RC Cola because Coke ain't paying me nothing. <laughs> kind of sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate some Crown Royal Crown. <laughs> Royal Crown is good too. I don't. Why do I Royal like Crown is cola? RC Cola. That's what RC stands oh. for. Come on. Well, you know, I haven't drank soda in like eight years. I don't. Uh, what is the region in America that calls it pop? The Midwest. Is it, it the Midwest? That's what I assumed. It's, the first time I ever heard it called pop was on Who's the Boss. And I was so confused. I'm like, it's soda. It's soda. Come on. Oh. My wife and her family call it pop. So, it, and they're from South Dakota. I don't consider South well, Dakota I, part of the Union. It, it is. Well, it's not a part of the Union, but it is a part of the Midwest. That's so weird. Um, I'd like to point out that Gordon Garibaldi is kind of like coming away with this now. It's a very like slow fight. Because Schmidt is not a killer. But Gordon Garibaldi, maybe he's been too used to having blades and light bulbs. Like, he's he, only this guy like had two hardcore matches, alright? <laughs> like, he's, he's not that used to it. And he's, he's a submission guy mostly, so kickboxing. You know, he's, he's definitely one of those guys that uh, SCFL Pro has really opened up the land of opportunity for him. Not a super skilled striker but a better submission guy. I'd like to give a big shout out to Chainsaw who's here. Chainsaw Hi, Chain who is Saw. not really uh, I don't know if he's really seen many of the kickboxing matches but I mean here we yeah. are with October Schmidt I mean he's got school on Monday uh, Jessica if you could could you try really? the... In uh, June? Well he works as a substitute summer. I think he yeah, has summer school a lot of these kids need gym. Substitute gym? Substitute yeah. gym. Jeez, I know a kid who failed sad. gym class and had to, had to take it over. I actually anyway, knew someone were, who failed. I think my stepbrother did that, honestly. Substitute I, I summer... Sim, substitute summer gym class? Well, I don't know. Either way. Uh, I don't know how much Chainsaw has seen here uh, of this kickboxing, but I mean, this is how the, the league was really born. Like, October is yeah. sitting here bleeding. Gordon Garibaldi, these men don't need to do this. The four-ounce gloves, 15 minutes to, uh, or get knocked out. That's it. I mean, what are the rules here? Let's let's go down it for just in case people don't know. 
Oh yeah, this I mean, is it's... very interesting for you then, Chainsaw. Um, I mean, everything was born of these guys, like October Schmidt's in great shape. But, uh, I don't know, Jessica, do you want to go over the rules? Sure, so it's uh, kickboxing only, uh, so standing strikes, uh, no clinching allowed whatsoever. Um, if, a, if an opponent falls to the ground, uh, you may kick their legs or body as much as you want until they are able to get back up. Um, if an opponent is clearly unable to continue the fight, uh, you may uh, land follow-up shots on the ground. Um, it's really not, you know, it's really looked down upon if you do, though. Um, I'm trying to think what other rules there are. Oh, if, if someone does end up, well, if, if someone accidentally, through panic or nerves, accidentally lands a takedown, uh, they must then <laughs> yeah. concede a takedown immediately after. Yeah, it's true. Um, because the judges are not ready to, like, understand. Yeah. <laughs> they, they can't they, not count yeah. it. They think that this is MMA, so we really... Yeah. If, if, if a takedown is landed, uh, the person on bottom only is allowed to strike until the person <laughs> on top is able to disengage and stand back up. It's so it's true. true. So many terrible cuts have been opened that way. <laughs> Especially but when somebody, elbow. like, accidentally falls into someone's guard, you know? And then the yeah. person on the bottom just goes fucking crazy with, like, elbows from the bottom just cutting them open. See, this is where October Schmidt, like Gordon Garibaldi, is living that uh, strip mall casino life. He's not in as good a shape, whereas October Schmidt's kind of coming. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jessica, strip could you drop the off. card into uh, the chat? Yeah, I will. So, drop the you will card. not. Discussion is going to fight tonight. I don't know if we have five round main events or not, but um, I think He's the right. champion oh, might right. be Foundation. It is foundation. And uh, he fights tomorrow night for the tag titles. So he can't fight tonight. Even then, a lot of these guys are injured. We've got a hell of an injured list right now. We've got guys who are injured. We've got guys who are actually fighting tomorrow night. You know, um, Like who? Federal who else? Bell, Federal Bell, Rick Roberts. Um, On I the guess ropes. that's Hello. technically it. But, uh, you know. Yeah, Federal it's... Bell. That's pretty good kickboxer for Oh, yeah. Time. Federal Bell has won the last two Substitute Series, which really makes me wonder if Substitute Series also needs to be in kickboxing. But, uh, yeah, Substitute Series is two weeks from now, keep in mind. Oh! Well, I, I mean, I was I was looking at some of, some of the uh, entry forms in Substitute Series, and I, I don't know if that's that's going to be possible. Yeah. To, to do kickboxing. This is just, see, this is what you can expect. It's almost bare-knuckle levels, where these men have just hit each other so hard for so long with four-ounce gloves. This is not worth it. CM Punk was nothing compared to this, the beating that he got. CM Punk is a punk. You can't survive that, He's a chick magnet. Hey. Chick magnet hey, punk. Guys, more, more like CM Stunk. Oh. oh. More like... Phil looks bad with all those bruises on his face. <laughs> uh, hey, how many his friends call him Phil, okay? You know what? Phil Brooks can cry me a river. Because of Brook Meadow. Wow. Nice. So... Who do we think won this one? I don't know. This is close. I'm hoping October I... Schmidt. Yeah, I mean, Chainsaw. I, think, I mean, Garibaldi had a knockdown at the, in the third the... round, I believe, so I, I guess oh, yeah. I'll go with him. I think the second round. Yeah, I don't remember. It's amazing what we can forget in just 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of people with concussions. Maybe we're just having residual concussions. Yeah. What? Wow. I mean, if you look at the fight stats in this, really close fight. Um, hey, really close. Dave. Very Facts happy. Don't care about your feelings. Okay, 194 to 195. Gordon technically ended one more strike, and he threw uh, five more. 
That is wow. And I just saying. And they got. I got a 30-27 too. All right, next fight on the docket is Karate Hendrix versus who? Zoning Zhang. Wow, Zoning another, Zhang is back. Uh, another hardcore lover. It's when we uh, when SCFL started folding in some of these kickboxing style bouts into their pro wrestling program, but uh. You know, he's, I hate to say it, he's kind of looking a little bit like an also ran. Like, he, he'll get to the point where he can challenge for a title, but he just can't, he just Win. can't get over that hump. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, let's be real here. He won the most arduous one-night tournament in history. Very true. There's no denying that the man has done some f fantastic stuff. I, I mean, let, I mean it, it is kind of confounding that... He won a 32-man one-night tournament and got a shot at the U.S. title, while sledding the guy who refed the matches uh, got a world title shot. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh... I don't know. Yeah, uh, so Chainsaw asks... Oh, yeah. I mean, those guys have had some incredible moments. Uh, in fact, Xylophone is sad eyes and all. Uh, you're gonna like this on the ropes. He, he beat Ichabod, okay? Uh, but Chainsaw yeah, asks... Is there a different injury list between a CFL wrestling and a CFL kickboxing? But no, no, this is all real. The, a lot of the people that are fighting tonight are not fighting tomorrow night because they couldn't handle it. Uh, some of these guys are coming in here injured. We've got an injured list. If if we can put that out uh, in the chat, possibly. There's this is all this is all together, and this is not a good fight for Zoning Zhang at all. No, Zoning Zhang is a guy who works well on the inside, on his elbows and his knees, and Karate is a guy who works on the outside with his kicks. Um, you know, it's just a matter of if Zoning Zhang can, can start landing some elbows, if he can get in there, you know, or if Karate's just going to keep him at bay. Yeah. Hopefully this fight doesn't end too soon. I gotta, I gotta take a quick break. Oh, wow. Godspeed. Yeah. Go for it now. Go now, Jessica. If you got a poo, you got a poo. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I don't... Uh, Zoning Zhang is known as having one of the hardest heads in the entire league. So, I wouldn't... I don't think that this is going to end fast. Uh, it's going to be more like Karate Hendrix is going to tear him down piece by piece and finish him in the third. Karate Hendrix is not a finisher. For real here. Um, he, he's known oh. for going the distance, but winning in the distance. See, Zoni Zane just needs to make this as ugly as possible in karate. is just, oh my god. Oh! oh! What an idiotic move. God, gotta get that elbow in. I gotta cut karate. He doesn't like to bleed. Yeah, he's, he's not a bleeder like Zang. Oh! Yeah, Zang will be bleeding any second, but a lot of that is from the, the scar tissue from those hardcore matches. The guy has taken exploding barbed wire bats to the head. Yeah. That put him out of action for quite a while. Ferrothoris, hello. It's good to see Karate you. Karate is a very strategic fighter. Oh, God, he just tears me apart. Yeah. Tear off your heart. Alright. Jessica furiously typing, drinking her whiskey. Doing both at the same time. See, like, Indeed. I got... I got to... Or Zoning Zhang has got to tire Karate out. But yeah. one of Karate's greatest assets is his gas tank. He's a madman. He's so good. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Karate going for his, his wrestling finish there. That uh, jumping hook kick. Oh, Zoning. 
Oh! I mean, the, the reality is going for a guy, guy with a bad gas tank stomach, like he's doing here. Yeah, it's uh, smart tactics. There's that oh. elbow. And someone's cut open. Oh my god, your knee. Yeah, because we don't know if there's going to be injuries. Uh, October shit, Schmidt and um, Gordon Garibaldi, they're, 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 they're fine, you know? Uh, he's just yeah. a little cut up. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. These guys are really uncoordinated with the problem. Well, Zoning Zhang is not... He used to be all about this kickboxing oh, life, god. and now it's just not the same. <laughs> Chainsaw. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how this is different from a low-key match. I guess... Uh, <laughs> Uh, these guys are, I mean, they're intentionally trying to hurt each other. They're just throwing a lot of kicks that, uh, that spin and do weird shit. It, it, it pretty much is a low-key match without hand sprints. I don't know what I mean, low-key is. It, for, for these two specific guys, they're, neither of them are assholes, so that's different from a low-key match. There's not at least one asshole in the contest. You don't know who Loki is? No. He only Big knows him as Senshi. Superstar, uh, who little tiny guy who New Japan, he dressed like Agent 47 from No, I, I'm, in, I'm interested for he, sure though he, he, he wrestled in a suit to piss them off I love that, like I, I was hoping that that Jericho match, that one dude that looked like Final Fantasy character was gonna wrestle in the suit the whole time I thought that was awesome, then he tore away his pants and I was bummed He has so, wrestled in the suit but not so Jason, imagine someone the size of especially Esposito, only he has like an extremely deep voice because he's so tiny. Um, <laughs> oh, I love the deep voice of Loki. It's yeah. so weird. Uh, I think his best work was uh, when he was uh, the belt uh, carrier for Lakeville oh. when they were the, the co-women's champion. Uh, he just was carrying their, their belt from like NXT season two or something. Much like when Let Jesus. Me and Dallas won a so hard court champion. Yeah. Oh. They weren't even co hardcore champions, they were just both hardcore champions. <laughs> they just were the hardcore champions. <laughs> they were the hardcore and champion. Had, and then they had to fight each other, but they're still friends now. It's it's a an amazing story. I'm very worried because, like, we really we have a hell of an injured list right now for the league, and uh, and Xylophonus and Letlu, they probably shouldn't be in these matches. They shouldn't be ever be fighting, in my opinion. Um, but the show had to it had to get made. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, uh, as Dr. Sarcasm points out, uh, Loki hosted a webinar that like three people yes. showed up for. Uh, one of them being uh, one, one, one famous one Twitter big. user Oakgen. Oh, yeah, one of them was Vix, though. The yeah. guy who went for our matches. Yeah. And tells us about the gay community for AJ Styles. I like yeah. how I, I still feel bad about cutting off Bix that night. I was just very scared. I didn't know what AJ Styles. Is AJ Styles a bad person? I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah, he's, he's woke now that he's in WWE, okay? Okay, I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> I, my... He's a flat I, I, I don't... Okay. No, oh, really? no, no, he's not. Well, he's he said, not because... He said it, like, he said it had some points, maybe, or something like that. Well, he, he determined that because you have to calculate the trajectory and bullet oh. drop of a, of a round globe earth when, like, doing long-distance shooting, that and that proves that the flat earth theory is not real. Like he basically chalked it up to hunting slash sniping and he's like, nope, can't be a flat earth. You have to- I, uh, it's a... I respect that. You know, he used his hillbilly skills yeah. to figure out- No, that, that's not hillbilly skills, that's just hillbilly logic. Or, or that's like right wing logic to this, like, I don't know. Sony Zing's busted open. I don't know. I'm just happy that he found the truth. Let's talk about this fight. That, as expected, yeah. is going to the third Karate round. Hendrix is, I think Karate Hendrix is winning this fight. Oh, oh as expected. Yeah. God. Oh, oh you, you just brushed my lips. <laughs> what the, uh, what would end of the round there? 
Sony is saying is cut open. Like, look at that slice across my face. You know what movie I want to watch? Dark Man. I haven't seen that in a very long time, and I can't remember if it's good or not. I remember so loving I it. Hmm. I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen Dark Man. Liam Neeson's um, Sam Raimi made it. <laughs> uh, so good. It's so good. Are you telling me it's better than The Saint? Yeah, I would. Uh, from memory, I think it probably is. Yeah. I I just so, I only thought of that because it, it's on HBO or something, and I had to explain to my wife the whole saga of how that movie was kind of like part of the beginning of the end with Al Kilmer. Well, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was awesome, and that's by Shane Black with the new Predator. Keep in mind. The new Predator. So yeah. I have a, I have a quick uh, non dark man related question. Uh, oh. What, what did the two tattoos on Zoning Zhang's arms say? Because I, I don't think I've ever noticed or paid enough Belly. attention to them. Belly and the ribbon. He made. He two moved here. Fonts? Yeah. <laughs> he moved here from Switzerland, but then like him and Zon uh, him and Offers Thompson kind of had a thing going. Too bad Offers is stuck in the shadow realm. Um, but Zoning Zhang wanted to be the best. Oh. oh he wanted oh my to. God. He wanted to be the best. Oh God, the best belly ribboner, and he was super into belly ribbon. But then offers Thompson has a huge belly ribbon, because uh, he's like, nah, I'm gonna be the best. And that's when offers went on his awesome title run. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. Whoa. Oh. He's twisting the legs up. God. And Karate Hendrix resorts to doing, like, punch-heavy offense. He's pissed. Oh. Who is next? Who is the next fight, Jessica? Uh, next up we have, uh, Kurt King versus... <sighs> Wigwam Watanabe. Oh my god. Oh, no. I very much forgot that it's a lot of belly ribbon people tonight, all in a row. <laughs> and I was like yeah. expecting to take a break, but I guess not. Fuck! Zoning Zhang really knows that he's. Oh! Uh, Chudley, I'm Let Lu has not fought. Let Lu fights after the King w Watanabe fight. Uh, he fights Rastaban Baptiste. So, Interesting. Uh, Hopefully our third. Oh God! Uh, hopefully the third emote in the SCFL Pro uh, Twitch account is 311. So hopefully no. soon, one day soon we'll, we'll be able to tell people to get their 311s out for the Sons of Anger. I, I think it should be a bread ball. <laughs> the 311s. So it's so the only em emotes in on the Twitch account are all belly ribbon related. Um, uh, I wouldn't look at it that way because Let Lou isn't belly ribbon. He's he's honorary belly ribbon. Maybe I don't know if his mom would want that. Uh, <laughs> his mom does not control him. You know, just like, his mom very much does control just, him. Just <laughs> he's about, doing he's all of this in secret him. without her knowing. God, can you can you imagine if if Let Lou watched like one Jordan Peterson video, he would like totally start back sassing his mom. God, if oh God. if any of these guys, I'm really happy Chudley's here. By the way. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It, makes me, it makes me feel like we should just we should have just been doing regular wrestling tonight, but Well, you know what, you're really killing me. But also, you know, everyone doesn't get to watch kickboxing that much, and then we're also gonna be wrestling tomorrow. Keep in mind that we've got a big big card tomorrow. The daddy son, daddy's father's day dance. The tag yeah, daddy dance. boy. Daddy boy. Daddy, daddy boy. Daddy boy tag team dance. You should drop that in the in the chat, please, somebody. I'm so sorry that the clip bot does not work. Let me uh, let me get that card oh. link. Uh, I don't think I don't think the card description actually says who's in that tournament. I mean, there's teams we know of. Yeah, you know, there's yeah, there's Bob Sun teams, which the some of yep, the a lot of the people that you expect. The no, Lewises, the, the Bells. Really yeah. Uh, but some of the other father sons that we know of, you know, the, the Lewises and the Bells, they don't get along. That's going to be interesting. 
Uh, on, on the ropes was earlier talking about maybe Ichabod should be tagged up with Federal Bell. You, you know, I mean, Federal Bell already has a son, whether he likes him or not. And, uh, yeah. I think we might have to see some of that tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Th this is a much closer fight than it looked. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so props to zoning. Oh, okay. Uh, well, he's not the guy who wins in a hurry. So Wigwam next versus Kurt King. Kurt King quietly becoming one of my favorite. But now we're about to see some pure Wigwam, which the people don't really get to see that often. Oh, God, so, so terrible. Uh, yeah, Chainsaw's right. Kurt King's probably gassed making his walk to the to the cage. Got to figure is... out that clip bot. Major issues. But you know, I really appreciate you guys helping out because we want we. I would love to do uh, maybe a best of kickboxing and really embrace kickboxing on the YouTube this week. That'd be fun. Well, if nothing else, hopefully you know any any clips that come out of this night can get uh, merged into whatever clips come out of tomorrow night for uh, an ultimate clips of the week. Chainsaw, I think Phil Brooks has too much money to be in SCFL. I don't I don't know if he's the, the right kind of guy for uh, what Mike Bianca is looking for. Yeah, but and I'm, Phil I'm not... Brooks has like a clear point of view. I don't know. <laughs> He seems like a this, guy. Uh, this size discrepancy is shocking. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that intro there. It happens. Yeah. Wigwam. Oh, wow. Always someone who's going to lose. Could be the best, yeah. right, Walsh? I don't know if Walsh is here. Sorry, this mic, when I mute it, sometimes has a hard time unmuting. Uh, well, you're one of those people that absolutely hates Wigwam, and right, rightfully so. But you also yeah. are someone who... But you also believe that he could be great if he wanted to be. Yeah. <clears throat> Wigwam is the kind of guy that if he would just buckle down and not be such a dick, he could be so, a world champion without without that. <clears throat> this is terrible. Wigwam. I feel like he's got Kurt King. Oh God! I just I just cheered for Kurt King because he, <laughs> a man who's a performance artist, deserves better than fighting this monster. Oh my God! Oh my god! <laughs> this is terrible. Why is why does Wigwam do what he does? Um, you know he's just an idiot. He's like the the problem with him is that he hits so hard, and it's like if he would just piece together combos instead of like, you know, he's got a really shitty gas. And whenever he gasses out, he just sits there and puts his hands on his hips. You can see him breathing really heavily. And then, you know, once he feels comfortable again, like, he's just trying to catch his breath. And he's pretending that he's, like, some, like, you know, like, really cool guy about it. And he's just trying to catch his breath and do it in a weird way. Yeah. And then, and then he throws these absolute bombs that, like, if we were talking about him the other night. He has, like, a Mike Tyson kind of thing to him where if he connects with a couple of shots... We're probably gonna go down, but it's like he doesn't. He, he gasses before he can do that. But he's also just purely an asshole. Like he's taking these shots, oh, like, and asking for more. 
there's a reason why <laughs> that Let Lou, uh, you know, when when tasked with giving his uh, his entrance graphic, put a complete piece of shit. Let Lou doesn't swear, folks, and yet yeah. he did in that one instance. I think that tells you how strongly he feels about this guy. Rightfully so. I mean, it's a shame that Chainsaw, I want to say, like, as you can imagine, Wigwam is really good. He's lost maybe his last 10 in a row. I don't know. Like, you can see him just taunting and taking these shots. <laughs> he just closes his eyes and takes it. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, and he's lost so many high-profile fights. Yeah. I mean, he's... Well, he's, he's had some, some weird runs where, I mean, he, you know, he knocked out uh, Rap Metal for, I think, a boxing title, uh, a, you know, a while back. Um, he's, he has weird stretches where he'll he'll put something together, and not even through trying, just his normal techniques, and he fucking does, he somehow does well. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's, yeah. like, had crazy knockouts, as you could imagine. He just needs to focus. Well, he he literally puts himself into the the he's into the jaws of defeat or whatever. Like it's his own doing. He takes so is much he, unnecessary damage. Is he maybe just a really great entertainer? I don't know. He's all cut is, open. Like is he's he a performance an, artist like Kirk King? He briefly like won King the. A lot of body he's really he he knows the breadbasket is really susceptible to. Wigwam has no gas. Oh my. <laughs> Watching Wigwam just getting absolutely annihilated and then taunt is just like, it's everything. Yeah, see, you're enjoying it now, but when it happens... Uh, oh! Oh! And it wasn't even meant to be! It was... Oh! Oh. Oh my god, that is one of the most brutal knockdowns I've ever seen, like... <laughs> oh! 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 Like, he needs to block instead of- I love that sometimes when he's taunting, he just- the other guy can't connect. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Look at Walsh all of a sudden a Wigwam fan. No, I, I think it's really funny is what it is. I'm just watching this man take un... Like, this damage should not be happening to anybody, and yet he's just taking it like a... I mean, how many elbows did Kurt King drive into his... Directly into his chin? Oh my god. Both men are bloody now. <clears throat> oh my god. Well, you should be amazed if he doesn't get a <laughs> knocked out, Chainsaw. The blood just starts pouring down his face. Why does he do this to himself? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm glad that Kurt is finally just opening up cuts on this guy. Like, he, he should be cut. You know, Wigwam really trying to go for the shoot title makes me miss him in the hardcore position. He just... He tries a little bit too hard in wrestling. And, uh... You know, <clears throat> I, he's meant to be here. He is. He's, he's a fighter at heart. And his stupid taunt sometimes causes people to miss hitting him. Which is great. Which makes no sense. Yeah, God, like Kurt King is so tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what we saw. We see that that Kurt King is a guy who gets very tired, very easily. Yeah. Like I don't even that knockdown seems very strange. Like Wigwam, it's like he saw the elbow coming and decided to smash his chin into it. He leaned yeah. in such a strange way. Oh God! <laughs> he kind of just like moved into it when when he was already done. I forgot that he got knocked down uh, <laughs> this round. It's such a shame, actually. Like, look at, like, Kurt King is beat up. Like, Kurt King is very much in a fight right now, and it shouldn't be this way. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh... 
We haven't had any quick finishes. I'm glad that uh, I'm looking at Twitter.com oh, at the Super Chat is finally branded for SCFL Pro. Uh, it, it, it's a long time coming. It's not just like a you know, real parm on the cover. <laughs> it's just, you know, that's what uh, Xylophonus was eating one night, and uh, somehow that became normal. I, it, it's really hard to explain. It's sad that Wig Wigwam is so tall that uh, Kirk King can't hit that reverse elbow to his jaw when Wigwam is just standing still. Just like hit oh him. my oh, god! Shit. That's what happens when you put your hands down, you fool! Yeah, all of this terrible. Man. I like that he like kind of like w like laid there for a second and just like, looked <laughs> up and was like, oh, I'm down. But... Yeah, he, he, he. It's like he can't believe. Oh. <laughs> he can't believe what's happening to him. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh! What an asshole. I like that he's just all about the top afterwards. There's just no sense of urgency in this dude. He, Wigwam is very much losing this fight, I think. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! No! Oh! Kirky! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god, look at how beat up he is. Why did that have to be a war? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kablam. Kurt King needed that. Oh my god. Wigwam always... Wigwam could be so good. Yeah. And look at his face. He knows he's not going to try anything different. He's nope. He's going to keep doing the same shit. Every, he every is time. not. Look at him. He's not. He's disappointed with himself. He's like, how could I get knocked out? I, I had that, you know? A minute thinking, and a half away from probably a decision loss. More. Yeah. I should have taunted more. Look, I just want to say that everybody... Everybody's favorite boy is coming up now. Oh wow! Oh, boy. Who is it? Letlu versus who? Let Letlu, Rastaban. Yeah. My Everybody's God. Favorite boy Brother, is we have genuine sorrow. Now that we have always been down, down. Wow, Wigwam totally won the first you. round. Second round was close. Wow, Jessica, that was a close fight. Yeah, I mean, Kurt King landed just about everything he threw. But... Wigwam just has so much power that, you know, it, it makes up for a lot. Poor Let Lou. Uh, at the receiving end of one of the worst things ever in, in SCFL history. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, uh... The melon the, crushing... I think we're calling it the, the noodle incident. Oh god, well there's that too. Well, oh yeah. Well, oh my God. When, I thought... when he ate too many noodles and cramped. Oh, you see, I consider the noodle incident when he admitted publicly that noodles come out of his noodle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not good either. Yeah. Got a lot of uh, high lets in the chat. Everybody loves let, and I I don't blame them. Like. He is heading out. He's oh, he's going out right now. Such a weird guy. He's a uh, we're, we're, he's a proud boy, and I don't mean like 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 Ichabod proud boy. I mean he's just he's a boy and he's proud. Yeah, and he does have a polo, I think. <laughs> he does have a white polo. 
Um, but through years of wa like not washing properly, sweat stains, ramen stains, it is uh, pretty gross. So. Look at poor Let, 179 pounds. <laughs> like, like he's not in good shape, and he's a, you know, and he's he can't yeah. even get to the weight limit here. He's he's a turd. <laughs> I mean, ideally, if he if he dieted, he could probably be a you know pretty well defined like what 155 or. No, I would say yeah. more like even like he could probably make flyweight. <laughs> well, that's he, a he's huge flyweight. <laughs> five eight, five eight, one point five. Good. Yeah, Chainsaw noticing that, uh, you know, in, in wrestling, you know, some of these guys have to uh, basically airbrush over some of their questionable tattoo choices. Um, but, but in, in kickboxing, uh, it's all allowed. Yeah, you know, when you're inside the cage with the gloves, you can let your weird, crappy tattoos fly because it's sex. <laughs> yeah. That's true, because this is also like sub-broadcast on Fight Pass through Twitch. It's, it's weird stuff going on here. I don't remember. Uh, you know, it, it, this is basically like a lot of these guys have tattoos and shaved heads or whatever. They remind me of like 2010 or 11 UFC, where it was just guys with really bad tattoos and shaved heads that all look the same and all fall the same. Maybe even earlier than that. like like guys who just look exactly like Joe Dirks. Letlu, uh, not the most r refined. I mean, he, the, you have to understand this boy ate three or four packages of ramen before coming out because his mother insists, uh, you know, he be at full power. I mean, watch Rastaban go for the go for the belly there. The oh. belly the and that's because Let always has a full tummy before he fights. His mom thinks it's good for him. He's had cramps not. so many times that that has led to serious injury. <laughs> he has had cramps before, and he just sits there holding his belly, moaning while he gets kicked in the head. <laughs> this poor guy. Look at him just walk forward. Oh my god. He he just wants he to get it over with. Terminator. He is. He, he just, just walks, walks forward. forward. Yeah. Throws bombs, and he'd be dick about that way. So let's be real here. Like it works on occasion. Long before he was known and making bread balls publicly and working on his book, he was the community college terminator, walking forward and just... Slobbing bombs, baby. Yeah, it takes He's a lot like of Phil damage. Barone without, like, any, pers any of Phil Baroni's personality. Uh, Jessica Rastaban <laughs> seems... Not entirely happy right now, like like because <laughs> let Lou like like you would think that he would be losing right away, but it's that Terminator style that sometimes throws people off. Yeah, Rastaban is is probably not. You know, he's he's not used to someone with this kind of mentality. <laughs> he's uh, you know, looking for something to exploit. I mean, and there's plenty to exploit, but you don't have. It's it's kind of a Justin Gaethje setup of if you're always pressuring. You know, it's hard for an opponent that's a little more calculated to kind of develop time to, to reset and think about what they're going to do if, if you're just in their face. Right. Throwing, even even if they're shitty, gassed overhands that really have nothing on them. Oh it no, there's his belly! That oh, ramen belly! Just, oh, like, when you don't, like, there's, there's a certain thing where people who just don't know what they're doing can have really good luck by just fearlessly doing stupid things until they get it right. And that's kind of let Lou. I remember, like, uh, you know, I used to skateboard as a team, and uh, I would think about it too much, so I wouldn't be able to, like, do a lot of the crazier stuff that some of my friends who, you know, maybe weren't all there, would just go out there and do it and not worry about, oh, what happens if I break my foot and I can't do this, or break my hand and can't play guitar. They just, do oh, whatever. They, they did great. I think that Let this Lou. is a huge win. He got out of the first round. Double mat. Let Lou is a tired boy who does not deserve this. Uh, Let uh, Lou. Detector sarcasm. Let uh, Rastaban came out to the song. Come original, you got to come original. I'll entertain us. Come original. Hooyah! Now, um, somebody please, let's let's can we acknowledge that Let Lou survived? Look at his belly jiggle. 
Uh, let loose survived five rounds. Or, or here yeah. he survived five minutes. Um, against the trio's champion, Rastaban Baptiste is one third of the trio's championship. I mean, the the weakest of the three tri trios champion. We're, we're actually going to see all three of them in action tonight. Yeah, wow. they're they're keeping busy, keeping it in shape while the the division kind of shakes out. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't I don't even know who the next uh, challengers would be. I mean, the 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 Tapas army kind of fell apart spectacularly. Oh, um, Chudley, um, he is not making bread balls in the corner between rounds. His mom has somewhat like ramen juice, what he calls ramen juice, which is just like the sodium packet and water. And instead of like, you know, like the little the little straw that comes out of like with the boxer when they give him drink, they're just giving him broth. So, yeah. Uh, sometimes, I think, Jessica, we've both witnessed Let Lou just drink a huge bowl like ramen's not chewing them like the noodles just drink it between yeah. rounds which is really incredible the gluten goliath <laughs> that the gluten strange nickname for this boy I like that no matter how old he is he's always going to be a boy oh yeah I, you know, it's kind of sad to me that I don't think Let Lou's father is all that involved. So, you know, maybe he won't be uh, in the daddy, the daddy boy dance. And I'm oh really my God! Yeah, him. it's really true. Well, he might be. I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Xylophone is can can be his fake dad. I don't know. Maybe Dougie. Oh, well, Dougie's younger. At this point, Rastaban not beating up Letlu more is a huge win on Letlu's side. And that seems like Letlu can go down at any second here though. <laughs> He's gassing out so bad all the time. Oh god that belly. Oh I wish Vasabon would just hit him with an axe kick. We've seen that Let Lou does not handle axe kicks well. His belly is so full right now. <laughs> oh. Every time I see a kick land on his stomach, I just. It makes me feel it. <laughs> like, his mom's just pumping him full of sodium. This is terrible. <laughs> oh god, let. Oh god. Let. Oh, Rastamon's just unleashing on him. This is terrible. But let's move it forward. Yeah. I mean, he dodged that big leaping overhand. Oh, he, he rarely dodges. Oh, no. Let's cut open. Oh, my God. I love when he dodges moves randomly. Oh, good job, Let. And then he gets a foot in the face. I mean, this guy has to clean up all the blood in the too. Which is yeah, really he awesome. immediately has to just clean it up. I don't know where they got this octagon from with all this UFC brand. <laughs> oh god, let just go down, let you got work to do tonight. Just go down. God, he's gonna make it past the round, isn't he? Don't I wish this was a five round. Oh. Wow. Oh no. God. This has been <laughs> terrible. Wow, oh, such a such a poor kid. God. His <laughs> eyes swelling up. Yeah, they're just gonna... instead of the cut man detector car sarcasm, like his mom is just putting like the those dry bricks of ramen <laughs> on his face. <laughs> Not helping at all. It makes it saltier, which I guess something. Oh wow, we got a. Let's tears. We got I a mean... crazy matchup next. Leather Walker and Bradford Culpepper. Oh wow. That is Those crazy. guys hurt people. Those guys hurt people for a, I mean, <clears throat> for a job in addition to whatever job they normally do. Yeah, those are two big boys. See, I don't know how they get down to that 185 limit that it's, it's going to say on the tail of the tape. You know what's pretty interesting here? Uh, Let Lou was technically one fourth of a trios champ once. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He wasn't involved in the finish. Of course, that was. A legendary finish that involved a boner. But... Oh god. <laughs> Rat middle just tapped out. Just slutting Bianca's <laughs> boner. I don't want to touch him no more. 
Oh god. Oh no. Mm. I guess the question is, is Let coming original? Because that would really help them. Every single fight tonight has gone to three rounds. Oh, these guys... They know each other so well. They do, and I think wrestling has made them tougher. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, poor baby boy. Oh no! <laughs> the way he went down, sack of potato style. <laughs> you know oh, what? God. He he did. Uh... <sighs> I'm proud of Let. <laughs> I'm proud of him. I am. He he did fine. He went. He went like 13 minutes with uh, the champion, oh. Rastaban. Rastaban's a tough dude. He is. That's the most physical activity you've had since the 60 minute draw against Discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where's their title shot for that daring feat? <clears throat> I like that we immediately lost viewers after that loss. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. How did he only have two significant strikes in the whole fight? <laughs> oh man. I thought he was throwing decently like heavy punches, but apparently whoever was doing the fight metrics was uh was not <laughs> So many of them were just arm punches and stuff. Yeah. Is it the darkest timeline when Let Lou uh, loses all the time? Or the normal timeline? Uh, I that's think in normal. every timeline. Yeah. I think every timeline he loses. Poor guy. <clears throat> I'm really excited about this fight. This is an interesting fight because Bradford Culpepper has been staying active hunting for bike bianchi last week we saw him destroy the sledding bicyclist or <laughs> the masked bicyclist uh what did you say yeah the sledding bicyclist the sunny bicyclist like S -U -N -N -I. imagine that no the sledding bicyclist like like oh. it's just like hey i know that guy he he likes to bike and then he's like sledding down a hill between the warriors this is uh... Wow. Where the Walker is pretty tall, he's got, he's got a reach advantage here, you know? It's crazy that these guys cut cut this weight. I know. Bradford, uh, you know, oh, Bradford yeah. is a guy. He's not going to be able to choke slam you know, to Weather Walker here. And Weather Walker can't do his big suplexes here, so this is even ground here. Good question, Detective Sarcasm. Do we have audio of Bradford's pre-fight interview before this fight? Je Jessica, do you know if we have a tape of that? Uh, let me see if I can find anything real quick. I, I know he had he had some words for uh, Weather Walker. Weather Walker, I know you're friends with Bike Bianca, so I'm gonna beat you up until you tell me where he is. I'm gonna punch you in the stomach, I'm gonna punch you in the chest, I'm gonna punch you in the face, and you're gonna tell me what I wanna know. Wow, Bradford Culpepper is here to get information out of Weather Walker. I'm glad he's not he's not aiming for the pepper, but that yeah. Would be... yeah. This is a big boy match. Oh whoa! Oh whoa! It goes right back to it? I 
I rarely see Bradford go for that in, in wrestling. I'm not sure why. It seems like it'd be effective. Yeah. Yeah, I he, mean, he's, he, watches, he watches some Sanchai fights, gets ideas. I mean, he's definitely got a little more weight around his, uh, his, or on his body when he wrestles than when he's cutting weight for, for MMA, so maybe he just feels that his joints oh. aren't up to the task. Let's be honest here, he didn't talk about peckers, but he just kicked them peckers. Oh yeah. yeah, I meant to say that Rastaban actually hit- Oh god, he kicked him again! Uh, Rastaban hit Let Lou a few times in, in his little boy and junk. his noodle. Yeah, his <laughs> little noodle. His, his noodle! Well, I don't know if it's little boy junk. I mean, isn't, isn't Let Lou like in his 20s now? Well... Wow. I, I thought he's been a community it, college mentally. student for like three or four years. <laughs> it's definitely his noodle. <laughs> God, both these men very athletic for their size, uh, but not landing much. Whoa! Wow, a lot the of things that they could. <laughs> Bradford, you know we've seen this style from him before when he fought uh, Kelly Kelly. Oh God! Yeah. Landed so many kicks Legendary. to the back of Kelly's head. Legendary stuff. Whoa! Look, Weather Walker has pretty much impacted careers with those elbows. Oh yeah, Captain White years ago, he he hurt very badly. Or Algorithm Schneider. Um, who else? He actually had a big big to do with. Uh, Didn't he kill Algorithm. a Supreme? No, that was Computer Collins. <laughs> okay. We have had deaths in the cage in this. Oh God, right the dick. God. You're tired someone from kickboxing. I think it might have been Fortran? Fortran? Might have been. He retired Cheesecake from kickboxing. We didn't kill him. Cheesecake is very much alive. <laughs> oh. I would like Weatherwalker no, to join with. Oh! I would like Weatherwalker to join the Foundation and Computer for Trio's te oh. team. Well, you know, remember, he, he did tag with the computer a couple of times. And they, they were kind of successful, yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, he's really fo he was really focused on, uh, you know, the dinner family. I feel like somehow Bradford Culpepper and Giovanni Dinner are, like, on a collision course. Oh, wow. late! Oh my Nothing god. Nothing Yamasaki could have done to stop that one, though. <laughs> Mainly because he didn't want to. Oh. Really, I, I, it's interesting to re watch the replay how he was going for an axe kick. Bradford kind of slapped it away. Yeah. Did the yeah. That you know, was awesome. That <laughs> I want that information. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> I mean, which is which is strange considering you know uh, you wouldn't think you'd, you'd want to hit someone in the head if you want to get clear accurate information out of them. You don't want to you don't want to give them a concussion. <laughs> and then he gave like, he gave that should be the mass cyclist concussion last week. He gave him a concussion and he didn't think to unmask it. Right. It, it's very like. Well, that's because he got beat immediately. True. Yeah. But he, like there was still time in the ring to like just pull. Pull that mask off while maybe discussion, you know, discussion made him go. Was, I don't know. Well, discussion was raising Ron's hand. True. What a fight that was. <laughs> oh Whoa, Jesus. 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 Oh. Now, I don't know if. Oh. Has <laughs> I don't know if because we're broadcasting on Twitch, this means that when Nyman has to defend his top TV title in a kickboxing match. Oh my god. I don't think it does. I, I don't think the, I think the, he does. the contract stipulates. I don't, I don't think that's accurate. I think this is the Walsh's call. Yeah, the dot TV title has to be defended tonight. It does. I didn't know. That's not, that's not on the card, baby. We, we just surprising each other now, baby. Secret you know, match. I mean, he could have been stripped of his title. 
I really wish I could hand off the uh, streaming duties, uh, but we'll just figure it out. I mean, luckily he doesn't have to defend when uh, when this channel broadcasts basketball. So that would be weird. <laughs> He'd have to play someone in like a game of horse or 21 or something. Yeah, I think that like you can do those one-on-ones. You really should do that. Because <laughs> you could do those street ball games in NBA 2K. Well, we'd have to, we'd have just have to track him down. I don't think he even, I don't think he knows the rules of basketball to, to join in is the issue. No, he, I... he's never been I, invited to, he's never been invited by any of, the, any of the established teams to play. Okay, so he, that's a big deal. Oh. So that needs to happen then. Or he doesn't even have to be on the team. It's just whoever's the champion needs to just be, you know, out there playing basketball. Because if he defends tonight, that's got to go to his total title reign, right? And it's just like got an uh, asterisk saying, you know, kickboxing. Kickboxing, yeah. Because um, then, because I would love for him still, to play basketball and hold on to that title. But it's still a three-round fight because it's 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's, it's not a, it's not a five-round title fight. It's a three-round fight. Uh, detector sarcasm. Uh, every few weeks when the gym is open. Um, uh, oh. oh Fuck! God. Oh, he smashed his dick. Oh my god. Definitely some good stuff down there. Uh, yeah. There's yeah. no actual set basketball league. It's just yeah. Whenever, whenever the YMCA in Bel Air Urban opens up, uh, they, <laughs> they put together a team and or a couple of teams and, and play a game or two. Yeah, like the alt right is all on one. <laughs> It's Pecker. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever used that expression in my life, and now it's like a thing. <laughs> Not right or a team. Both men are bloody, and we're going into the third round again. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, uh, people that you're seeing these. Oh, Ooh, man. Wars. That'd be so good. Uh, yeah, Jessica, now that my schedule's changed, I don't know about Walsh, but I'm totally down to call a basketball game sometime soon. Sure. Tomorrow. As long Let's as if, if Wim survives Jim's tonight open. and tomorrow, keep in mind he's fighting tomorrow. Who's he fighting tomorrow, by the way? Mike Miller. Oh, that's the right. The new submission specialist. Well, Mike Miller's, like, he's been doing some shit lately. I mean, maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll fight tonight and fight tomorrow. Who knows? Wow. Um, you know what? That's my fight of the night tomorrow. I'm calling it. That's like gonna be the best of the week. That's gonna be the match of the week. I'm calling it. I th I think Wim just knocks him out in like seven minutes again. I think he's just so strong, and Mike Miller like he's had some surprising success, but he's uh I don't think he's ready for what what Wim's gonna be bringing. Oh, I saw that coming. It's pathetic. I can't believe that. Oh. Gum. Oh. Come on. Oh my god. Whoa. Weatherwalker with the moves. I want that information. I can't do his voice. I, can't do his voice. <laughs> I want that information. I oh God, oh. is he How gonna get information? <laughs> <laughs> like that's not even a. Oh! oh my God. Just changing clothes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my! God, these guys are killing Jeez. each other. This is a great fight. This is crazy. Whoa! Oh, Both these guys are so tired. Jesus. Not Jesus, to che Jesus. Oh.
think I gotta knock you out to win. Oh! I, oh my god, these guys are so tired! Damn it! Damn it! Oh my god! Oh! What?! Damn it! I can't believe this went the distance. Oh my god. I don't know who won that fight. I don't know who won. I, uh... No, you won. You won that fight. Wow, I forgot I knocked you down in the second. I'm not sure we're a lot of knockdowns in that in that third round at like what two each or something? Yeah. Come on. Mother Walker needs this. Mother Walker ne needs this bad. Split. Whoa. And Judge 3 scores it, 928. Give Weatherwalker some of your time. Culpepper. Aww. <clears throat> That's a one. <laughs> now I get to have that information. <laughs> <laughs> three knockdowns and three knockdowns. But you can see it very clear. Round one for Bradford, round two for Weatherwalker. Round three was the toss-up, but Bradford landed 41 strikes. Weatherwalker's Yeah, see the thing is is uh Weatherwalker just doesn't have the volume. Yeah, he hits like a Mack truck. I don't <laughs> think he got the information, guys. I, <laughs> I think Weatherwalker speaking, <laughs> speaking of information, who's up next? Oh whoa. <clears throat> Poor, poor Zylop. These fixtures are sure having a tough night. This is very sad. Um, He's got the saddest eyes. We saw uh, Dougie get hurt in a... I don't know what it was last night, but something happened last night between Walker and... Weather Walker and Dougie that went up on, on our Twitter, or the SCFL Twitter account. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Look at Silophonus' sad eyes. Mike Bianca eludes uh, Call Pepper yet again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all that happened, Bradford won by split decision. He doesn't get any information. Uh, that is the most <laughs> well, I guess it conti the, the search continues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like every time he says that, he thinks there's like a freeze frame and like the, the upbeat sitcom credits roll. <laughs> uh, whatever, like, misfort, like, weird incident he's just got himself into. I, I feel like the Seinfeld music would be appropriate. <laughs> now, Earl Von Trill has kind of become a, a fun hardcore maniac to watch, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's not been... He has not had a, a good uh, kickboxing run. Um, <laughs> oh. You know, he's, he's, he's struggled quite a bit. But, well, uh, Zylop and his tiny belly ribbon tattoo is also just struggling every day. Um, he's really so afraid much, of he's, that he's so sad. Yeah, I, was saying, I assume it's so small because he was the the needle hurt too much. Yeah. Oh yeah. He was horrified. I thought you were gonna say his noodle hurt too much. <laughs> so keep in mind that Xylophonus prefers to go out there and either get knocked out or get knocked out right away. Very rarely has he ever seen the second round. Uh, so. Meanwhile, Earl von Trill. What's interesting to me now, Jessica, you tell me if you think that this is true. Um, my god, um, does Earl almost like count this as like a different, like kickboxing is kind of like just a different hardcore stipulation at this point for him? It's like the dude has seen everything, he's seen knives, he's seen explosions. 
this is a this is a man who comes from the mean streets of Miami. You know, he's yeah. a place, place that until Robert would love to go. And <laughs> oh go. my oh. God! Poor oh, fella. He's uh. Oh. Look at his little Alicia. dance. Oh right? God. <laughs> At least it was quick, all right. God, just very, just grazed him with that. Oh, his what a, chin. What is it, well, he like that <laughs> jab. Earl's, Earl's opening move was a flying knee, which really set the tone. God. I, I like that Let really showed up Zylop tonight, but it doesn't really matter because they're both just really sad. <laughs> I like that he was kind of defending that punch, and it still just broke through, and it's just the saddest guy. Look at how disappointed he is. Wow. I think he's disappointed in life. I mean, that's a nice little... That's a nice win, but for Earl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I mean, I don't know. Stats are similar, just one guy hits a hell of a lot harder. You know, I'm interested to see what happens in this next one. Gorvis Rogers against Brick Roberts. Brick, who wow. I believe is still juicing to his heart's content. Yeah, he, he very much it. is. He, uh, yeah, he's he's juicing with steroids. Uh, never, never ever having green juice or Jamba Juice. Sometimes he <laughs> he likes like the orange juice from there, but he won't I get anything he's, green. He's more of a He's more of an orange Julius kind of guy. Oh yeah, with like the weird powder packets that go in there. What's with that? Yeah. He's all about the orange Julius. So Gorvis is another one of the three trios champions. Yeah. He's another guy that also has a, uh, you know, some some tattoos that are not usually seen. In the in the in the ring, but he gets to, I guess, let his. <clears throat> I don't know if it's a freak flag, but he definitely lets to, to go all out in in the cage. Chainsaw with the clip. Thank you so much, Chainsaw. Ah, Gorvis. Just so much about Gorvis's aesthetic is very questionable. He's he's got the ATL down his chest. He's got the 404, the area code for Atlanta on his neck. As if somehow that was not enough information. He's got the weird, like, purple dyed goatee thing. Ugh. I just. I don't know about this kid. Yeah. It's a lot of bad decisions at a young age. He's only 19. Oh, God, really? Yeah. He looks way older. Yeah, and, like, especially in wrestling, like, he's much thicker of a man. Yeah. yeah. He, just, he has he to really dehydrate himself. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's not great at rehydrating. He just kind of stays very drawn out. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing with Gorvis's face is uh, he was in a lot of street fights and just various altercations from like the age of like 10 or 12 on. And he's he said like he's gotten his, his face cut up and, and actually some of the bones in his face broken a couple of times and he's had a lot of reconstructive surgeries just to just to repair the damage and uh, that's left him with certainly an interesting looking countenance. Now Brick Roberts, we've seen him kickbox. Incredible power, a terrible chin. Yeah. He's just not a, a guy that's like in shape. Oh my god. Corvus is a very good boxer. My um, God, could wasn't he a boxing champion? He was. Holy Jesus! Oh my God! God! Holy Jesus Christ! <sighs> Those steroids do not help <laughs> the chin. <laughs> they don't. I mean, uh. The trios champions are doing really well individually tonight. That's what shows how dangerous they are combined. I mean, Rat Middle is still yeah. to come. Yeah. God. Yeah, well, we're just like and blasting I, through this now. <laughs> yeah. I think 
I don't know if it's for certain. I mean, they're, I guess, sort of father-son figure, but I think Rick is supposed to be, uh, he, he's been petitioning to get him and his, his nephew, Asanathil, in this fa father boy, or daddy boy, tag dance tournament. Daddy son. Daddy son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Daddy I mean, I mean, I wonder I who know. else can be in it tomorrow night. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. And what does dance mean? You like, are people going to be dancing? Do they rent out part of the hall? Do they partition something off? I don't know. Oh, God, who knows? We got boxing and blaster up next. That's going to be a... We God. Got, we got boxing with good technique, blaster with just raw power. I just want to say, Gorvis dominated Brick. Brick is so unprepared. He does, like, those stretches. Yeah. He's good in wrestling. He's not good in this, while she, you know, because he, like grabs onto people but look at gorgeous yeah. gorvis just moving around hitting him making a miss i think miss. we need to start i think he needs to start going by gorgeous gorvis <laughs> just like really because <laughs> of his face <laughs> yeah gorgeous gorvis rogers that's a that's a who are we doing now boxing boxing and, and blaster oh now blaster Blaster is hurt, isn't he? He's he's yeah. suffering the last little bit of, of that uh arm popping out from yeah. Mike Miller. See now this is something that a lot of people don't understand that they're finally gonna be able to see here. Uh because so many people haven't haven't really seen so Bike Bianchi, there's his picture, called his brother boxing on a poor cell phone. He had just terrible reception. Told him to get the belly ribbon tattoo. Boxing didn't really understand what that meant, so he got like the the tattoo across his throat. He got a tattoo on his leg, on his back, all over. Uh, not realizing that the belly ribbon is not the name of the ribbon; it's supposed to be a ribbon on the belly tattoo. So when he walks out here in a moment, you're gonna see him just covered in ribbons. Uh, he, he's he's gotten some of those ribbons partially covered up with other tattoos because he feels bad about it. But pardon me again. You know who I miss, and it's not just because I'm drinking white wine, but it oh. usually is. Uh, Murph. Yeah. yeah. Who's a guy? I don't blame him. I don't blame anyone. It's Saturday night in the summer. Hopefully, all you guys. I'd love to hear from you, Chudley and Chainsaw, Terry. Who else is out there? Vera, Detector. If Sundays are going to be better. Hopefully, <laughs> starting earlier yeah. uh, time. Let like us know what night you think is best for us to be broadcasting our flagship show. Uh, we have been doing Saturdays since November now. But, uh, you know, we have some problems when we run the TJFC shows or other, other kind of stuff. And also it's the yeah. summer and Saturday night and we've seen, like, people should go out. They should. They shouldn't be enjoying themselves yeah. like Generic Tech probably is right now. On the ropes, Let Lou, um, he did Why not bad. Uh, Xylophone has got knocked out in 55 seconds. Uh, Let Lou did okay. But that makes sense. Uh, Blaster is injured, then we were kind of talking about that, right, Jessica? Like, he's got an arm issue, so we're going to see if he goes a little bit more to the kicks tonight. He is a, I mean, he is a puncher, and that is, he's definitely going to be favored favorite arm tonight. I just don't, uh, oh, like, are his blocks going to be effective? Right. What do you think about, uh, Blaster's inj injury, Jessica? I think, you know, he's a tough tough bastard i think he's gutting through it um you know i think getting the opportunity to to oh. you know kickbox again he couldn't really pass it up he i think he really loves just putting a leather clad fist right into someone's face and you know sometimes he didn't get all those opportunities in uh, in pro wrestling you know you had to like as a scramble champion he had weird guys trying to throw him out of a ring trying to pin him he had a very They're drunk man guy. He had a drunk man uh, put Blaster's arm between the guy's leg and just legs and just kind of like grab at it until something <laughs> popped, which is just a weird, a weird way to stop someone's title reign. 
I, you know, I should note, it's, it's the right arm of Blaster that's injured, and you can see he's kind of favoring, he's using the left arm. Oh, he yeah. Is a, he is not a southpaw. This is going to be... Oh. Whoa, whoa. Now, keep in mind here that boxing is the... Uh, oh, my God. Boxing is the guy laying out... Oh, boxing blaster. is the 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 shoot fight champion. Blaster is a oh, former shoot shit. fight champion. Shit. Big blaster. Um. Could could the no on the ropes? Uh, even though you are the embodiment of evil. Um. <laughs> we we always want we want everybody here to be involved. We are we are an inclusive group, which is more than can be said for uh, other people. Like like Potential, Ichabod uh, Adams and his group. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Hopefully that works out more. Um, I know it's before Monday, so that's tough. Uh, but yeah, we've kind of got it down to a science now. And let the xylophone start on the ball enough that no show should go longer than two hours and thirty five minutes. Yeah. We got Man. the last trio's champ coming up next. Blaster, what a win! Yeah, yeah that was a... boxing was think... looking good, feeling good too. These stats are almost identical. Yeah, I, I agree with the uh, with Chudley. I think once Blaster's fully healed up, to get to you know suffer the rigors of the grappling aspect of a uh, of a shoot match, I think he definitely has earned his way toward. Well. Tried for how many weeks in a row to yeah. to earn a, a shoe title fight? You just, well, or Chu Chai just wrecked him. Just keep in mind that Chu Chai did that in under nine minutes too. He was the first guy to yeah. do that. And also, who is who is uh, Rat Middle fighting? Rathaniel Middle is fighting, especially Esposito. Oh, uh, that is AKA... strange about. Wow. When I think about yeah. it. I think they might have faced off in boxing in the past because. <clears throat> uh, I mean, they have Rat... to. Have, but then... God, would is, you be is... willing, like, maybe we'll ask the chat room, would you be willing to make this an impromptu boxing match? Just to kind of show off, like, a different type of thing? Would Rat be willing to do that? I, I mean, Rat is all boxing, so I, he was going to just throw hands regardless. Let's do boxing, I think. Let's honestly, do boxing, especially as a former boxing, boxing champ. Yeah. I think Rat might be as well. I'm not 100%. I know Rat, Corvus was... Rat was the world champion. He was also the Sharia Law champion. Yeah. yeah. This size uh, uh, discrepancy is going to be very, very intense. You know, you have one guy who's little and fast, and one guy who's big and fast. One so, guy who's got alopecia, but keep in mind, see that little beard he had that surgically edited in. He spent thousands of dollars to be able to grow that tiny little beard because yeah. he won the Sharia Law title. The now defunct yeah. Sharia Law title, I believe. Five. Eight versus six, two. Seventy inch reach versus seventy six. Yeah. God, I'm afraid of rat. Yeah. He is I, a scary rat. guy at times. Look at that guy. Dougie, you, you can hear, you can hear Dougie in the crowd ever so faintly. Do you guys hear Dougie? Yeah. Rat. <laughs> But here's the thing, he's he's very, I guess you could say he's predictable, he's, you know what Rat's trying to do, if you can kind of crack that code, you know, because he's, you know, he's lost pretty, at, pretty handily at, at the hands of some guys, yeah, I think Ichabod's defeated him most times they've faced, I think Discussion's defeated him most times they, they've faced, you know, I mean, granted, those are two, two of the, the, the very best, so it's, it's not... Out of the room. But I think even even either Philly or, or Hero uh, beat Rat by a, a, a narrow decision, uh, you know, a time or two. Yeah, Rat is a is a tough guy to beat. Remember that Freddie Fisher won the Sharia Law title from him because Rat did not have proper facial hair. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> And, and he just stood there and let Freddy hit him, like, for, like, 15 well, minutes. It was really strange. As the rules say. Yeah, that is the... That is... That was... I guess was. I don't know what the fate of that title is, but... 
I know immediately Ito is the last hope, like last chance. Yeah, immediately Ito still has that belt, or the the beard. <laughs> it's not a belt, yeah. this is the first very strange SCF belt title, I think, where you had to wear <laughs> like, prop beard. Well, if, if you didn't want to grow a beard, that there was a community beard right. that you could wear while fighting. Uh, but you also had to get, show um, modesty. Bike Bianca. Captain White, remember? <laughs> he was so hardcore into Sharia law for lo a really long time. He was like the Wim Nyman of the Sharia law title for a few months. Can you believe that Wim has been champion since like April? That's crazy. You know what though? Captain White was perhaps the greatest Sharia law champion of all time. It's true. He, uh, that really, it, it took him from a guy that Weatherwalker was annihilating all the time to a guy who actually, uh, you know, found a niche for himself. Of course, there was no tag team wrestling here. Rad is, uh, he's doing what he does, which is throw straight punches. He, he mixes in a few, you know, hooks and uppercuts, but he's all about that, exploiting that big reach advantage. Even sometimes when uh, his opponent has maybe an, an inch or two on him. He he really underwent a big uh, change up when he finally, finally found the Sons of Anger. Because when he got into uh, SCFL <clears throat> kickboxing, he, you know, he was an angry kid, or angry young man, I should say. Uh, who threw a lot of hooks and overhands <laughs> and lost damn near every fight he ever had. Interesting. I did not know that. I thought he was always a killer from the beginning. Nope. Uh, he was not great when he first started. You know, there was a lot of guys that really needed to get a feel for their style. Once Rat Metal figured out, hey, if I just don't throw hooks and just throw straights and jabs, I can really hurt yeah. people. It really I mean, changed his life. Hell, when he determined that he should never throw kicks either, yeah. that really helped out. I mean, he'd be some of the greatest of all time. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Esposito... He, he, he didn't do terrible. No. I'm not sure what beard uh, you refer to, Chainsaw, but probably uh, something like that. I plastic. figured it was just... Uh, he's talking about Eric Young, the, uh, the wrestler who, I think, I guess he's on the main WWE roster now as part of Sanity. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't watched Jeez. WWE in a long time. These combinations are insane. These replays are wild. Yeah. The thing is, if Rat doesn't get a guy out in the first round, he's been known because of his high volume and just the fact that he's high, he's been known to have trouble with his cardio as the as the fight goes on. But I mean, he throws... I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibility of him throwing close to 200 punches around. I mean, in, in his, I guess you'd say, prime or heyday when he was really putting it on, guys. He, well, I mean, really you're seeing it right now that he's hit especially so much, though, in the belly. The belly ribbon that yeah he's making him tired. Both men are cut open. Oh wow, that overhand just clipped Rat on the bridge of the nose. I think. God. Oh. Combos from a special. Walsh, what are you seeing here? It's, it's interesting to watch that Rat is kind of eschewing his regular style. We're trying to throw some bombs at this guy because he's fast and he's able to avoid a lot of Rat's strikes. You know, you're seeing Rat miss way more than you ever see him miss. 
Um, maybe it's just yeah. that he's been so focused on wrestling and, uh, you know, all of the stuff he does in wrestling. A lot of, a lot of submission holds, a lot of bigger slam, uh, a lot less just one to it, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's his, his big, uh, if he doesn't get people with that uh, banana split or the the wrestling twister or whatever you want to call it, you know, the, the, he still likes to try and end people with that, uh, he calls it the old one-two. Right, and he, you know, like when he throws that, it's, it's game time, but, you know, it's, uh, he doesn't, it, there's nothing oh, wow. in, in, in pro wrestling. And, yeah. And uh, he's just a little rusty when it comes to the, the volume of striker that he is. Esposito's footwork is just so good. He can he can circle out so quickly. It's true. He's a very fast guy, and he's small. You know, he can move around other people, but yeah, he doesn't have the best gas tank because he's constantly moving. Because he needs to do that to survive. He's in the wrong weight class. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> he should be fighting at like two hundred five, maybe heavyweight. Wow. Oh God. Oh my God. Um, especially might have stolen that. Might have. I don't know. I don't know. Oof. Yeah, I mean, Esposito's eye is looking to be close to closing up after all those jabs. Yeah, I think that uh, that that final that that uppercut really sealed that round for you. Damn. God, Esposito <laughs> is so beat up. God, it's it's a good thing none of these guys, or at least these two guys, aren't fighting tomorrow. And this is one of those interesting yeah. things. It's like, yeah, like those guys that fight tomorrow, because Esposito's been finding himself in a lot of scrambles lately. He had that tag yeah. team with, with immediately Ito, which was good. Uh, yeah, I like that tag team. I like uh, adjectives international or adverbs international. I don't know. Yeah. The part, I can't remember the part of speech off the top of my head because I'm not that educated. I'm the same way. Uh, I think because they end in ly, they're adverbs. I think that was like the schoolhouse <laughs> rock group. I oh, he threw so. a kick in a boxing match. What I a little didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. At least why, there's been no elbows. Apologizing? Esposito should. Uh, <laughs> Now, the, yeah. typically in a in a boxing match, if if a if someone throws a kick accidentally, which can happen, a kick or an elbow, <laughs> an elbow, I don't know, but if elbow. a kick is thrown, yeah. elbow gets gets a free shot, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but if a kick is thrown, then typically the other person is allowed to throw <laughs> a similar the same type of kick. You yeah. know, if, if you throw if you accidentally throw a low kick, your opponent, if you throw a body kick, your opponent can throw a body kick. None of this, oh, he threw a, a, a low kick, so I'm going to throw a, a head kick. Right. Well, you know, that does happen, though. Although I like how accidental. Is, <laughs> it's a lot less egregious than, than for example, when uh, Mike Bianca was the boxing champion. He threw nothing but elbows. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. God. That is rap metal, folks. <sighs> He'll, he'll, he notices when you're hurt, and then he'll he'll throw those big, big heavy uppercuts. Especially was worn down. That was a, that was a good fight, but I mean, like, yeah. that was Rhett imposing his physical will on especially. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, especially wasn't gonna do that. It was it was nice of Rhett to even make it boxing rules in a lot of ways. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't think both guys were really gonna throw many kicks. Uh, yeah, you know, even if it was kickboxing, but yeah, it's still. An interesting showcase. That was our co-main event. Well, actually, I guess the technically this, actually this coming up is our co-main event because we still have that uh, super secret uh, .tv main event. So, in other words, it's the fight before the co-main. So co then, the co-main is coming up. So the who's the co-main? Discussion Davis and Federal Bell. Oh my God. That still don't know who Win Nyman's gonna face. Fight. Well, uh, you know, I'm 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 looking forward to finding that out with the rest of you. Wow, round two, ninety-one to ninety, surprisingly close fight. Even though like you were hitting especially so much harder. Oh 
yeah. Rhett Middle. I was saying that to Rhett Middle. <laughs> is he? Is he surely watches the replay in the future? <laughs> He's trying to walk off. He's a, he wanted to walk off KO. That's all he knows about walking off. See, now this isn't good because yeah. I think Discussion was hoping to get a five round fight as a main eventer. Um, <clears> let's and. Here. A three round fight hurts him more than yep. it does most fighters. I know, I know. Three round discussion is not the same as five round discussion at all. The fourth round discussion, Davis, is who you have to look out for. Yep. It's. Federal Bell is uh, a dangerous guy. Let's be honest here. Where's on the ropes? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the clips, Chainsaw. I mean, Federal Bell, he's won two previous substitute series. Uh, I'm sure yeah. that... I mean, my God, is he going to be Aladdin's partner tomorrow? Uh, what they is going on with... They are a dad and son. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. So is uh, I mean Federal Bell, I'm sure is going to be fighting tomorrow. So this is rough on his body. I I hate Federal yeah. Bell's face. I, I feel like Federal Bell knows that he might have to team up with his son, and he's kind of just hoping that he's so it, beaten up that he, if he does have to, he doesn't have to do anything in the match. So discussion isn't really defending a belt; like he's just staying active before he defends the belt, which is admirable. I mean, yeah. technically, you know, this isn't an open challenge. This is, uh, this is, uh, technically these guys did have an open challenge quite recently. Right. Federal Bell kind of took him to the limit, if we're being honest here. Yeah. He did. I mean, there there was the weird situa situation with Miles Manhoof trying to yeah. make some sort of statement that I, I don't think anyone fully comprehends, let alone, you know, least of all Miles. Um, Hopefully he has his head... The, the, like in the yeah. Okay. Okay. I like, the, like <laughs> discussions in there, like lifting his arms up while Federal Bell is doing this like crab walk thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, that, he because he does Wait, that I mean, um the, the the roll the the operation roll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's stretching right. his quads for that. But here's the thing: like Federal Bell was was Sick. really putting the the army boots, if you will, to uh, discussion. But really, all it took from discussion was was he. He grabbed him up in that champion's ball and planted him and that was it like discussions got those you know home run hits essentially that you know a guy like oh. bill just didn't really have yeah the, the classic discussion D davis technique of throw like nine alternating left right high kicks in a row is a uh, is a classic Ooh. an operation <laughs> operation <laughs> Ooh. Discussion Davis can sometimes show a little bit of a little bit of pizzazz in his fight. Yeah. Oh, federal. Federal Bell, baby. Operation. <laughs> this is a kick fight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I'm trying to think of, of guys who have definitively beat, definitively beat discussion in, in kickboxing and, and what their main tactic was, you know. Um, sometimes you just gotta... Like kicks. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like it's really, real it's really, it's really the low kicks. You know, uh, I, I, I love talking Whoa. about it because it was so hilarious <laughs> and I know Jason, as, as the d Discussion Davis truther, does not like talking about the time. <laughs> Poor old Harrelson. Sure Definitely sounds like, like uh, you know, you're saying that loud enough cage side that it kind of sounds like you're coaching Federal in a way. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I would I would never want to coach that piece of shit. Well, you just I mean, did. I, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think as a man that has, you know, uh, been, been in, in an, an operation, operation, he knows tactics. <laughs> he knows operational tactics. But, I mean, discussion, you know, <laughs> he's, he's good at... <laughs> He's, he's good enough that he can just land some some high kicks and and <laughs> take your guy's face off. In operation. <laughs> is that if, how uh, is that how Torvald lost his face? In the operation. <laughs> no. Uh, discussion took his face off. 
Oh wow! Well, I don't. I don't think discussion ever ever hit Torvald hard enough to to cause any face loss. Face loss. <laughs> oh. An operation. Oh. Discussion might have hurt his knee bad there. An operation. God. I mean, you know, discussion has to realize that as, you know, hard hitting as those kicks are, you know, they take a lot of energy. He needs to maybe throw more punches. I, I know his hands aren't the best, you know, but sometimes, uh, sometimes you just gotta throw some punches and, and set something up instead of just you know? literally walking someone down by, by alternating front kicks. <laughs> Left leg, right leg, front kicks, and that's your main mo mode of locomotion. We're seeing a lot of discussion yeah. highlights here. Yeah, yeah. powerbomb. So, which is a big deal for him. I'm glad that CM <laughs> Chainsaw noticed his arm being stuck back. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, it's, it's, this is what happens. To, Sometimes uh, your arms get stuck. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've been that should have tipped us off about the the possibility of a Shadow Realm. You know, years before <laughs> we saw it happen. Arms were always things. at stake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, arms are always being too. taken. What a dick. <laughs> they walk out here and go for a kick in the dick immediately. Oh. I like that discussion. Just gets kicked in the leg constantly and then he just keeps throwing kicks like it's not happening. Yeah. Well, you, uh, you know, you, you let that, that pain go th throughout the rest of your body by exercising your, your, your limb immediately. And, oh, God. Wow, Federal Bell is exercising his free speech. He's just shouting operations like, during the entire fight. An operation. <laughs> you never been to no operation, boy. Very few people yeah, have been I in an operation, sir. <laughs> <laughs> An IUD flying at you. <laughs> IUDs. Yeah, I mean, we've we've established that Federal Bell, of all the people in this league, has probably had the most sexual relations because of his time and his operation. <laughs> More like Operation Fuckfest. <laughs> <laughs> he wow. would never use such crass language. <laughs> I was gonna say we need to we need to pull. We need to pull back the the mics around the cage so we don't pick up this fighter chatter so much. If, if <laughs> why, why would Federal Bell be saying that to Discussion Davis in the cage? <laughs> this is what I called operation. my operation when I was making love. <laughs> like, discussions like your son. It's been fighting in this league. Oh no! Operation. Operation break this leg. God. Can you imagine if you ruined discussions to leg? Like Anoki versus Ali. Yeah. Imagine if, if discussion has to defend the title tomorrow. I mean, be yeah. strange. Especially I, against I someone that, uh, that likes to use leg locks. I mean, that would be dangerous. Yeah, he could um, be taking the night off for sure. But, but he can't, right? Like, he's already put too much into this persona of his. Yeah, I mean, pretty, I uh... guess, in theory, he could call, he could pull back his open challenge whenever. Like, it's this has not been mandated by, you know, yeah, the higher-ups. Yeah. I, I mean, the, oh, there it's... are quite a few people that are worthy of title fights at this point. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> knocks him down with the leg kick right at the end of that. No, I, I feel like the first round was, was definitely discussion. I don't know about that second round though. I don't like this. Discussion needs to fast track this from being the third round into the fourth round somehow. This is not good. Yeah. Maybe if he gets hit in the balls and takes a, f a five minute break, that can somehow Whoa. turn it into the fourth round. He does need some sort of delay. 
I mean, look at him. He, that leg is starting to look a little raw, if you ask me. Yeah. Gonna cut open. This isn't good for real skin. <laughs> so many kicks. Now you understand, like, these men know how to take damage. They know how to these fall. Some people say, oh, they know how to fall. <laughs> I on the how ropes is loving it. Leg kick. <laughs> yeah, well, how do you know how to take right? a leg kick? Federal bells busted open. Uh, discussion. Former boxing champion throws up a huge combination there. Oh, this is classic discussion. Classic but... discussion. Classic idiocy too. Discussion loves nothing more than gassing himself out trying to throw half a dozen head kicks in a row. Yeah, that, that leg keeps getting hurt. It's it's honestly kind of like a belly ribbon staple of like just throw a, a bunch until you can't breathe and then back off and hope they don't <laughs> catch you. Oh. Oh. Discussion is catching those, or Federal is getting hit rather with some of those head kicks right on the end. Like, and I, I feel like one of those toes is just gonna like catch him in the eyeball at some point. It's gonna be a, a oh, wrinkle jump oh, oh, situation. Oh, oh. Former boxing champion needs to really make better use of his hands there. Yeah. You know, he's going for those elbows, a belly ribbon staple. But... Jack is also gassing yourself out. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Wow. Oh. I mean, we've seen him use those head kicks a lot in wrestling as well. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. My oh, God. Yes. Oh. It doesn't really matter. Oh, my this God. Damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Over. Wow. Oh, uh. wow. Taunting. Say, bring it on. Let's throw the bell. This is a close fight. My God. I bet he wishes there was a fourth round here because this, you know, he had him stunned right at the end. That's classic discussion. I'm getting a lot of discussion replays over here on my one, screen. One, one for me on my screen. Two to one discussion. I got, I got two discussion replays. I am very curious to see what's going on here. I think it's gonna be a. I think it's gonna be a split. I think it's that close. Wow. Oh, are you kidding me? Federal Bell, a victory over Discussion Davis. My God. But discussion, uh, discussion never gets finished when this happens. It's such BS. Well, is it really? He lost a decision. That is how this goes. That is absolutely God. terrible. I mean, he got outstruck every single round. I'm looking at the stats right now. <sighs> Discussion may have landed a lot of clean head kicks, 
but Federal Bell, if you look at the damage stat, 50% of the strikes went to the, that right leg of, actually the left leg of discussion. Oh, yeah, That's... Federal... Man. Yeah, but kicks oh, to the head mean more than kicks to the leg. I hate how much the alt-right is winning lately. Uh, oh, it's just... He's good. I am, uh, you know, it's what a world, you know. I think that. Uh, what do you think about immediately Edo versus Wim Nyman here for the dot TV? Incredible fight! An incredible fight. Two highly technical, uh, big time strikers. This can also secretly be a, uh, well, I guess it can't be a Shreya Law title fight, even though Ido has the beard because it's not going to be a five round fight, so. Right. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, there has been internal discussion as to the validity of that title, uh, trying to be a more fan friendly organization. Bike invented the title thinking he was doing something good and progressive. He still and, might have. Uh, I don't know. No one knows. Yeah. Bike just wanted to in include the Muslim, uh, faith. <laughs> the Muslim I mean, it, community. Honestly, I remember at one point Nickabar Adams won that title, and uh, correct yeah, Chudley. He, he won that title, and then he immediately declared the U.S. championship, and then he uh, vacated it. So I don't really. <laughs> it's it's had a weird history. The Sharia Law title. This is intense. Uh, Man, if Wim can get a win here? So wait, if if immediately Ida wins tonight, does he defend tomorrow at the da daddy dance? He's got I to. Think he would have to. And wow. I, you know, there's a good uh, Chudley brings up the good point of if it goes to a decision, uh, that decision is null and void because Well, uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a draw and it's a defense. Draw. Yeah. It is it is a TV title. <laughs> There's no decisions. In the we don't go to the judges. Yeah. Very interesting. So he can literally just sit there and absorb punishment for 15 minutes and... Uh, he can, yeah, he can run know. for 15 minutes. Caleb Starnes it for 15 minutes. Uh, he's not that guy, though. He's, he's a finisher. I mean, he's not, but that's that might be a bad idea if, if he's getting you know into trouble at any point. These guys are just in a phone booth, just swinging. Yeah. Oh my wow. god! What a knockdown! Holy shit. Whoa! That's a stun. Oh, they both have that big kick, huh? Oh god, I missed it. By an inch. Immediately, Ida wants this belt. He did not expect to have this, like, this opportunity. And he's going after it now. Oh, a kick to the dick. Oh, fuck. That's called the Dutch hello. <laughs> Dutch hello. Wow. You know, you know, a little bit more reserved, uh, going for more body kicks. Yeah. It's a, it's a shame he can't go for that, uh, spinning brain buster. I know. That thing has done people in. Oh! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! That is quickest TV title defense in history. Perhaps most brutal. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Lynn Nyman is a motherfucker. Look at the cut on his head. Like, immediately, Ida went after it, you know? He went really? after it. Oh. He went out on his shield, as the kids would say. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
blown away. The only time potentially quicker was the uh, the strange lighting rig no contest. <laughs> I think that <laughs> actually happened in five minutes. This happened in like just under three. three and a half. Yeah. Chudley did call it that the the dot TV would end in the first round. Uh, I don't think we had a single finish in the second round all night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and and that's that's the show. Just under two hours of us online. Um, super happy everyone stuck around. I kind of want to. I kind of want to play basketball a little, Jessica. I I would call that with you guys, if if you wanted to. Like wow. right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do, you, do you want to just do it right yeah. now? Just one basketball match right now? One one match of basketball. <laughs> basketball match? Do you want to do this? I mean, yeah, and and that would uh that would eliminate the need for Wim to defend because this is this is this would technically be the same broadcast. Right. Okay. In well, theory. in order to do that, we're gonna have to go offline for about five minutes. Um, quick, quick break. Yeah, we suggest uh, that you please hang out for a little while longer if you'd like, because uh, we're gonna play some uh, we're gonna play some basketball. Uh, that's funny, chainsaw. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So if you guys want to keep hanging out tonight, we'll be back in five minutes. If not, we're very happy that you came here and watched the kickboxing violence tomorrow night. Daddy son dance, right, Walsh? Right, Jessica? Yeah. Daddy son dance. I thought tonight was awesome. We should do this more often. Yes, we should. And I'm I'm really concerned that Mike Miller is going to get seriously hurt by Wim Nyman. Oh wow! I don't yeah. think I don't think he's got anything for him at this point. Wim's got to get that cut stitched up tomorrow. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to switch over to uh, basketball. We'll be back in five minutes to uh, yeah, just see some these these dudes play some basketball. Stop broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs>